Watch out Siri, Cortana is coming to the iPhone. I'm Bridget Carey, this is your CNET Update. Apple's Siri may be the most well-known smartphone assistant that answers your voice commands, but she's got some competition. Microsoft has its own version called Cortana. You'll find her on Windows phones and the upcoming Windows 10 operating system for PCs, but she's not limited to Windows. Microsoft announced Cortana will be available on the iPhone and on Android phones through an app. This Cortana companion app will first come to Android at the end of June, with the iPhone version coming later this year. Her powers are somewhat limited outside of Windows. She doesn't have deep access to change things like specific phone settings or open apps, but she can do some basic things like set reminders, answer questions, or track flights. Microsoft also is making a Windows 10 companion app to make sure your documents, music, and photos can be available from your phone through Microsoft OneDrive. The benefit is, of course, if you have a Windows 10 computer, you can still get to your files across your mobile phone without owning a Windows phone. And in case you were curious, Google's Assistant, called Google Now, also works on iPhones through the Google app. But Google's Assistant doesn't have a female name or a saucy voice. And in other news, the Periscope live video streaming app is now available on Android. Periscope, which is owned by Twitter, has been a popular way for anyone to broadcast video from an iPhone since it launched a little over two months ago. Twitter said Periscope had more than one million users within its first 10 days. The Android version is going to be the same. It lets you tweet a link to your live video broadcast and you can chat with viewers. Android users, though, will get more control over notifications, such as when a follower goes live. Its biggest competitor is Meerkat, both of which are becoming a new way to share news or broadcast your personal life to a social media audience. Meerkat launched on Android about a month ago. Both apps are a bit buggy, but Periscope is more popular and slightly less buggy. It looks like Amazon is getting into crafting to take on Etsy. Amazon has been emailing some sellers on the site Etsy. It's a popular destination for handmade goods. And it's asking for their interest in selling their creations on Amazon. Amazon has not launched anything officially yet. But this query refers to something called Handmade at Amazon. It asks curious sellers about what types of items they sell, promising to stay in touch while it sets up shop. Etsy charges sellers lower fees compared to Amazon. But Amazon could pull business away from Etsy with shipping deals for Prime members. Then again, not every crafter may be able to ship something out in two days for Prime if it's custom made. That's all for this tech news update, but there's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.